Hello and welcome to our channel. Games account for 55% of dApp industry usage. Although DeFi has been the most improved category in terms of UAW growth, blockchain-based games still represent the majority of activity in the dApp industry. 1.19 million UAWs connected to gaming dApps in October. In this video, we give you an in-depth look at The Lost Throne, an MTG-style card game in which everyone can have fun playing and earn tokens through superior card ownership and contributions to the ecosystem. Observe so you don't miss out on a lot of exciting stuff. The Lost Throne is a new concept game in the NFT TCG Meta universe developed and produced by Shiva Gaming in 2019. The Lost Throne is an MTG-style card game in which everyone can have fun playing and earn tokens through superior card ownership and contributions to the ecosystem. Players can collect, build, fight and trade in this mysterious fantasy world full of swords and magic. The beta version of TLT is currently available for testing on Steam and TapTap and free download and review. The official version will support Windows, Mac OS, iOS and Android. TLT's mission is to explore the limitless possibilities of NFT trading card games as a creative infrastructure to replace existing models of content and value sharing with co-creation and community sharing so that creativity and value can once again flourish in communities. A game token with which players can share and create their masterpieces. DD is the currency that players receive for winning the game. It can be used to produce shiny cards and unlock new packs of cards. Profit from DD depends on the MMR value. After participating in ranked matches and what shiny cards produce and is the primary game. Gameplay in TLT is turn-based. Players take turns playing cards from their hands to cast powerful spells of summoning evil minions to fight for them. The game can be played between two human players or between one person and a computer AI opponent. One of the summoning abilities to free the summon. The player can summon minions without consuming mana crystals. However, there are still technical requirements for free summoning. Players can choose a unit that can attack and drag it to the target they want to shoot during the battle phase to complete the attack. In TLT, minions can only attack melee units. An attacked card will trigger a counterattack. The damage from Vengeance is an attack value of the card. When they attack melee units, Ranger minions will not take damage. The battlefield in the game is divided into four rows and five columns. Players on both sides occupy half of the battlefield. The battlefield in the game has a front row and a back row. Million millions can attack in the front row, but ranged minions cannot. There are five columns on the battlefield. Three of the five are called roads, the left side road, the right side and the middle road. They are called side roads and central roads. Players can only order the minions to attack the enemy along these three roads. On the left side of the battlefield is a resource bar of mana crystals. Next to the mana crystals is a tech circle. Each block in the process indicates that the player has corresponding color technology. Below the technology circle is the player's avatar, health and deck. Health is displayed in the bottom right corner of the avatar. The part in the center of the battlefield from left to right shows an overview of the current round, the specific phase and the operations that can be performed. On the right side of the battlefield, from top to bottom, are hand, grave, emptiness and buttons to complete the phase. The top left corner of the map shows the technology requirements and mana cost. The number in the circle is the cost to spend when summoned. The color blocks surrounding the process indicate the technology requirements. To the right of the mana, the ring is the card's name. The top right corner of the map shows the map type. There are three types of cards in the game. 
The swords and shield sign represents melee fighters. The bow and arrow sign represents a ranger unit. And there is no sign, it is a spelled card. On the left side of the card, the words under the name represent the card classes. On the right side of the card, the sign under the type represents the card's characteristics. Capabilities include attack features such as hit and first strike, minion types such as hero and standard, effects such as armor, block and blunt, basic features such as colossal. The map tags described on the main map tags panel is the essential map characteristics. There are three main types of the effects, red, blue and green. Red means trigger effect, blue means activation effect and green means static effect. The numbers in the left and right circles at the bottom of the card represent the card's attack and defense value respectively. The rarity of the card is displayed at the bottom of the card. CP is a capital and management token of the TLT ecosystem and the only proof of ownership of the game. It has value accrual mechanisms, limited supply, in-game utility and manages the throne treasure allocation. To prove ownership of a game and participate in TLT's play-to-earn system, users must provide liquidity to the CPBNB liquidity pool. Users must provide an a bid liquidity equivalent to the value of 1,200 CP at launch. The actual value of the liquidity tokens may change over time and the amount of liquidity required to play TLT can be altered through corporate governance. TLT earns revenue from selling new cards to NFT in the TLT marketplace and transaction fees charged on transaction between players in the TLT marketplace. 70% is allocated in proportion to the return of the CP share pool and the CP BNB liquidity share pool. Funds in the Thrawn Treasury depend on management. Initially, 30% of the Tron Treasury issue will be given to the CP holders as a stake in reward. The remaining 70% will be distributed to well-performing players in regular tournaments. This proportion is a subject to change through management. TLT is offering the airdrop community an additional $60,000 CP. You need to complete a few social tasks and you can get from $6 to $30 CP tokens. 1,000 lucky people will get 50 CP each and the top 50 referrals will win an additional 200 CP. CP holders can vote and make management suggestions by staking CP for a fixed term. The longer the staking term, the more votes the user gets. Management can be used to change the following parameters. The amount of liquidity that must be staked to play TLT, the share of CP is allocated between the betting pool or tournament rewards pool, allocation of tournament rewards to participants. To vote, the user must have VCP. To get one VCP, user must be one CP for a month. The shortest period a user can stake CP to get a VCP is 0.25 month with a reward of 0.25 VCP for every CPB. The most extended staking period is 24 month with a bonus of 24 VCP for each CP bid. The throne treasury has 60% of the total CP assigned to it. Once launched, 40% of these offer will be unlocked the following year and the amount open each year will be reduced by 25%. Initially, divide 30% to 70% by betting pool and tournament rewards. These proportions can be changed through management. The betting pool distributes CP tokens back to CP holders through betting on liquidity pools. Tournament rewards are used to reward well-performing players in regular tournaments. In addition to the diminishing endowment of 60 million CP, the treasure trove of thrones is supplemented by CP used to create shining cards. A three-month cliff, then 24 million CP was released linearly over the following year. Each subsequent year, the amount released is reduced by 25%. Private sale, volume 5 million CP, 30% release after lockup for three months, then 10% monthly release for the next seven months for a total of 10 months. Public sale, volume 10 million CP, available immediately. Liquidity pool, 2.5 million CP, paired with $300,000. Marketing, 1,250,000 CP available immediately, then 11,250,000 will be released linearly over two years. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos.